Yo, what is up, guys? And today we're going to be talking about if Lilius is worth pulling for on her rerun banner, and if her artifact, Bastion of Perlucia, is actually worth purchasing with Powder of Knowledge. Now, if you guys are wondering about Elgos, I did have a video about him in the past, so make sure you guys check that out. This video is going to be solely focused on Lilius. So, Lilius, guys, she is a Fire Knight. In case you guys don't know what she does, let's quickly run over her skills. Her S3 is an AoE attack that will cleanse your entire team and also CR push back the enemy. And this damage will actually scale with the ally with the highest attack on your team. So in PvP, some people actually cleave with her. They put her on a full crit chance crit, crit damage build and they bring along a heavy attack stacker such as Senya, even like Gunther, and they just have a Lilius cleave setup that does a lot of AoE damage. However, the main thing about her S3 guys is going to be the cleanse and also the CR pushback. Makes her a very, very good counter initiator. Actually, in the past, a few years ago, there was actually a meme that Lilius was a Moonlight 5 star that just had a fire element attached because her S3 was so strong. But nowadays, you're going to see that she kind of got power crept out of the meta. Next, we have her S2, guys. It is a single target provoke that will also give herself a barrier as well. And that barrier scales pretty well with her health, so you can actually, you know, put her on a lot of HP and the barrier will be very, very thick. You can also swarm in this to actually ignore effect resist, making it so that you can lock down an enemy for two turns, regardless if they have high effect resist or not. Next, we have Nelisa's S1. This S1 is very, very strong, guys. It's actually going to be a single target attack that will scale with your own HP, but the biggest thing about this is you'll trigger a dual attack from a random ally, similar to Conquer Lilius's S1. Very, very strong because it'll make it so that she does a lot of damage by bringing an ally with her. If you get lucky and bring along a very high hitting dam or high damage dealing unit, you'll actually do a lot of damage with her S1 every turn she takes. So basically, you know, the way you play her for PvP is you want to use her as a counter cleanser. A lot of people like to put her on high effect resist, and you can actually S3 to actually cleanse your team. Um, and in PvE, guys, she's very, very good because, like I said, she does have that cleanse, which is very good for some bosses in raid, and also because of the fact that she has dual attacks, which makes her very, very good in Ancient Inheritance and one of the best units for uh, also Hall of Trials. Also going to be used in, like, Azimnak and stuff like that, and also Golem. Uh, but overall, guys, I think this unit is worth skipping because of the fact that, you know, she is kind of power crept. There's a lot of cleansers in the game right now that are just better than Lilius. And also because of the fact in PvE, you can pretty much bring a Ross, Adventure Ross, into content where Lilius is good. And he will do the same, or if not better, in most of the content. So not really a point to pull for her. I think she definitely needs a buff and needs some help with her kit for sure. Now for artifact, guys. Bastion of Perlucia. This artifact is not that great. So you're going to see at the start of battle, you'll grant the ally with the highest attack immunity for one turn and a barrier. Honestly, I don't think this is really worth it. Knight artifacts are way too good. And this is kind of just going to be used for like one turn, right? Um, you're only going to really ever see this on like defense teams, honestly. And you can surprise people with that. Um, but for the most part, I think this artifact is not worth pulling. Overall, guys, I would recommend skipping on both of them. You want to save your bookmarks because there are rumors and there is a leak that there is a collab rerun coming soon. More on that in the future. Um, but definitely just skip this. Not worth your time. That being said, hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.